Hi, I'm Kelsey Brennan Wessels, and in this special edition of Earth from Space, we are at the Global Platform for Sustainable Cities workshop here at ESA's Ezrin establishment in Frascati, Italy. Now, this workshop brings together development agencies and city representatives to discuss urban development in a sustainable way. And now, with me, we have Xiao Mei Tan, who is from the Global Environment Facility. Xiao Mei, can you begin telling me by telling me a bit about your organization and your involvement in urban development? Yes, um, Global Environment Facility is a financial mechanism of seven global conventions. Our mandate is to invest in developing countries that can generate global environmental benefits. We understand that urban and cities are the major battleground moving forward for us to address social, economic, and environmental issues. That's the reason during GIF's six re. Uh, investment cycle, we set aside $151 billion to establish this Sustainable Cities Integrated Approach Pilot. Out of this $151 billion, we have $10 million to set up a global knowledge platform, which is led by the World Bank. The goal is to have cities in developing countries and developed countries to share their knowledge, to promote cross-learning. And the World Bank is doing a fantastic job in leading this platform. Okay, thank you, Xiaomei. Now, to my left, I have Shuman Wang from the World Bank. Now, can you tell me about the global platform for sustainable cities? What is it? What do you aim to achieve? And who is involved? Well, thank you very much, and thanks to GF's vision and support so that makes this program possible. We have about uh, 27 cities across 11 countries, and, and all together, uh, two tracks, this global platform, plus uh, 27 cities, their own project activities. The idea is to, through the global platform, to bring all the cities together, to bring the cutting edge technology and knowledge to our cities, and how to help our cities to promote and adopt uh, integration urban planning and I we feel that we have a unique opportunities here uh, because it's not only about uh, learning networking more important is really also translates the knowledge and information into practice into investment and how do you use satellite data in your work so we have tremendously grateful for the support by ESA. It's, uh, you know, without the support, actually it's not possible even to have this meeting. But here, by, by being here, our cities, agencies, development banks, see what satellite information, image, and technology can bring. And I have heard city by city how much they're impressed. And they want to go back and say, look, this is data we want to utilize. And this information we can really incorporate into urban planning. This is exactly what the global platform want to achieve. So thank you very much. I really want to use this opportunity to thank ASA for making this happen and we have a long-term collaboration and working together. I think we can make something significant happen on the ground. So thank you. Well thank you. Now over to your left we have one of your colleagues also from the World Bank. This is Gayatri Singh. Now you have been working with satellite data. Can you tell me a bit about the results you've seen and what, how you plan on using it in the future? Sure, um, and again, like Shaman and Shaman, thank you so much for having us here. It's been great working with ESA. So I started uh, using ESA products uh, last when the first demonstration projects with the Metro Manila slum study, and the product and the engagement was way beyond our expectation. Uh, first of all, it was the first layer of informal settlements using the built environment definition that we produced. We were able to identify 2,700 slums, which in the entire city of Metro Manila which was unheard of before and not only that we were able to find some way to define a typology of slums. So often people think slums are slums, it's urban poverty. That's certainly not the case in complex Asian cities. We were able to identify pocket slums, which are really small, 100 meter by 100 meter, settle, um, small settlements of groups of people. But beyond that, we were able to use that product to do a Metro Manila slum study, where we are trying to understand urban poverty in a much more nuanced manner. Without having the slum layer, without having the typology, we would not have been able to do that. So we're very grateful for the engagement. And during that uh, process, we as the bank, as well as the uh, communities working with us on the ground, really learned about what was needed from us, our side, what we needed more from ESA, and how geospatial products could really be used for not only urban planning, but also for community engagement. 
Thank you so much. And I'm going to ask you to step aside as well. And we also have today with us Herman Pinar, who's from the Department of Development Planning in Johannesburg in South Africa. Now, can you tell me first a bit about what kind of environmental problems you're facing in your city? I think one of the major challenges for us is rapid urbanization that's happening. And how we deal with that urbanization will ultimately determine how sustainable the city would be from an environmental point of view, social and economic point of view. So we have clear strategies for implementation to make the city more efficient and, 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 and more eco-friendly. Um, but because of the rapid urbanization, it is sometimes a huge challenge to be able uh, to have adequate resources and adequate information to actually deal with it. And how can satellites provide the adequate information? Well, I think especially um, in areas that are less formal or in informality occurs, um, there's huge potential for us to, to deal with that in terms of, of understanding the ecological footprint better, areas of flooding, areas that are unsafe for people, uh, and tracking how uh, the settlements are actually happening and what the inter interventions should be and also understanding what the effect of our interventions are and if we are in fact making an impact in, in that respect. Well, Herman, thank you so much. And to our viewers, remember that to learn more about space or about our planet, you can visit our website at www.esa.int.